Hi, today I want to talk to you about corrective exercises. Many of us go to the gym and train very hard, whether it's three days or seven days a week, whether it's in non-traditional methods of training like kettlebell, clawbell, or sport bell, or your traditional methods of training. But if you're not addressing the smaller muscles or the tissue like your fascia or the joints or your flexibility, chances are you're going to have these imbalances. And these imbalances like stiffness, tightness, can lead to injury. So what's the point of training hard if you can't move fluidly or without injury? So I'm going to show you these corrective exercises. I'm going to show you the tools you can get. You can even do them at home. And I like to do these on days I call recovery days. Those are days where I'm too sore to train, but I can still address these issues. And I hope you find this informative and helpful. So enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is self myofascial release. And there's three different foam rollers that you can use. Blue is the softest, white is medium, and black is the hardest. So whichever you feel is comfortable for you. Okay, the first exercise I'm going to demonstrate is for your IT band. And your IT band is uh, tissue that runs from the top of your hip all the way down to your knee. And what we're going to do is we're going to myofascial release that part. So very simple, I'm laid on the floor and I'm going to lay completely on my side starting from the top of my hip and my feet together. And I'm going to use my arms to roll myself all the way down to my knee and back all the way down to my hip. And I'm going to continue back and forth. My recommendation is about three minutes on each side. If you feel that this is too hard or you're too sensitive to this, you can take your top leg and fold it over and this will make you lighter, less pressure on your hip. And again, continue rolling back and forth. You may notice some areas of your hip are more sensitive than others and you can concentrate on those areas, just roll back and forth and make the range of small, uh, motion smaller, going back and forth. Okay, the next one we're going to address is your quadriceps and your hip flexor. So again, you're laying the foam roll on the floor, and you can do both legs, but I recommend doing single, you feel more of it, okay? So I'll slide it down so I'm at the edge of the foam roller, and I'm going to begin with my right, and put all my weight on that right leg, and I'm going to start from the, my knee all the way down to my hip flexor, back and forth. Notice how I use my arms and my other leg to move my body up and down the foam roller. And again, some areas may be more sensitive than others, and you can address that area with a small range of motion. And again, I recommend three minutes on each side. The next uh, fascia we're gonna address is on the inner thigh. And again, you can do, start with either leg, but you're gonna do both. And this way to address this one, I'm gonna angle myself so I get the inside of my leg. So I'm shifting my hip, I'm dropping my opposite hip down to the floor so I can get that angle. And I'm just going to roll back and forth on the inside part of my thigh. Just back and forth. And again, I recommend three minutes. Okay, the next part we're going to address is your upper back. So again, laying the foam roller down on the floor. I'm just going to sit just to begin. And I'm going to roll so that I get to the upper part of my back. Now, I can cross my hands this way, or I can put my hands behind my head, whichever you feel comfortable. And all we're going to use, we're going to use our feet to roll from the midsection of your back to the upper part of your back. Just back and forth. Or behind the head, like I said. Okay, another way to address the upper back, which I like the most, is I'm going to lay the foam roller down, and I'm going to lay on it vertically. So I'm going to lay down nice and easy. I'm going to position myself so that my head, my neck and my head are off the foam roller. And I'm actually going to support that with putting my hands behind my head. And I'm going to just do one side only. I'm just going to use my legs and roll to the side and then back to the middle of my spine. And just roll that side only. and then I'll do the other side. Nice and easy, just rolling back and forth. Now, the blue foam roller is the softest one, so if you need more, you might want to grab the white or the black one. 
and you can really just focus on one side and you can feel all the myofascial release that you're getting here, all the deep tissues that you're addressing in the upper back. Okay, the next section we're gonna address is your middle of your back to your lower back. And again, you can do it hands crossed over on the shoulders or behind your head. So I'm gonna go from the, in, the mid part of my back to my lower back. And again, using my legs to propel me rolling back and forth. Now, some people feel like their neck starts to get tired. You can just put your head in your hands and roll it. 